A good evening to you and welcome to Capital News at 9.30. My name is Kulthum Mabad and first, the national news. Despite strong opposition, the Constitutional Review Bill has been presented before the National Assembly for the second reading. Chidema MPs walked out during the debate when a CCM MP criticized the opposition stand on the bill. Here are the details. Before the bill was presented, the Speaker Anne Makinda explained that its draft was earlier rejected and the House demanded its amendments, which through its parliamentary committee, public hearings were held in Zanzibar, Dar es Salaam and Dodoma. The Speaker warned that without approval of the bill, people cannot give their views. And when presenting the bill for the second reading, the Minister for Justice and Constitutional Affairs, Selina Kombani, clarified the process before enactment of the bill. Earlier, members of parliament and the government were called upon to reject the Constitutional Review Bill, which was scheduled to be tabled for the second reading this week. The plea was made today by Chairman of the Constitutional Reform, Deus Kibamba, during an exclusive interview with Capital Television. What we are trying to say now, the call is, number one, the members of parliament should not accept a second reading to this bill. That's number one. If they do that, in fact, that will be a betrayal to the people of Tanzania, to the voters. What will happen next, they know. But if the members of parliament pass this bill this time around, with the mistakes that are contained, with the flaws, we are calling for the president of the United Republic of Tanzania, who actually initiated this process of, uh, of making a new constitution last year in December, to not sign the bill to become an act of parliament. In fact, if he does that, if he doesn't sign, if he rejects, he will be just making himself a legacy that Tanzania will remember him for. The Netherlands Farm Access Foundation has donated 300 million shillings to the Association of Private Health Facilities in Tanzania after as part of its program to support private health facilities in the world to provide better services. Speaking after handing over quality awards to four private health facilities, Farm Access Foundation Program Director Nicole Speaker said despite a significant role in serving the society, private health centers and dispensaries are all always forgotten. We are working with the clinics on developing an improvement strategy but also a business development plan which helps them create their own income rather than, than creating this donor dependency which is sometimes troublesome. If the program stops then everything stops and it falls apart. apart. And I think this creates a great system where the ownership is with the clinic they start uh, developing uh, some income that allows them to invest in their own clinic again and keep improving on quality. And I think it makes it, uh, it, 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 makes it unique and I think it, uh, it takes the next step that is necessary. For this year, mm -hmm. 2011, about 140,000 euros will be committed to us upon this project in Tanzania. That is about 300 million. And this is uh, towards all these, all these uh, facilities. And this is not only Dar es Salaam, it is it's in Dar es Salaam at the moment, facilities in uh, Tanga, in Arusha, and in Moshi. And next year, we are going to move to other regions as well. Deficiencies in governance and non-compliance to the rule of law have been cited as main cause for increased land disputes in the country. Here is more on the report. This was said today by Executive Director of Legal and Human Rights Center, Helen Kijo Bisimba, during a presentation of a report of findings on demolition of houses of Njengu residents, Makulu Ward, in the Doma region. She added that evidence of excessive force by security organs was used and that there was pressing humanitarian crisis in finding shelter for residents of over 100 houses demolished against the law. 26 houses were supposed to be demolished, but unfortunately, 119 houses were demolished, and um, only three out of the 26 were demolished. And in this case, that there are people who suffered while they were not supposed, they were not in the conflict at all. And uh, also the, there was an excessive use of force in the operation where many, uh, some people were, uh, live bullets were used by the police and also uh, there were people who um, were supposed to 
we are not supposed to, to get this problem at all, but there have been, and some people are also arrested, and uh, uh, other people are sick in hospital because of all this operation.